Alright, so in today's video, we'll just be baking a normal map onto this uh, cube over here. Now, the cube does have very um, sharp edges and uh, flat surfaces. So, it does look a little bit strange, but it's just to cover like the basics on how to create a normal map. And then if you make it to the end of the video, I'll just show you how to create this material over here. Just using uh, textures freely available on textures.com. All right, so let's get started. All right, so here is the model that we created in our previous tutorial. Um, just basic UV unwrapped. If we just click here and drag out and switch this over to UV image editor. Go into the edit mode. You can see that there is our UVs one side repeated six times in total over the, the, the sides of the model. Okay, so first of all, I just want to give this a name. I'm going to call this our low poly, uh, just for low polygon model. And then in this tutorial, I'm working a little bit in reverse. So I'm just going to join these areas together again. I'm working a little bit in reverse because normally what you want to do is create your high polygon model first and then you create a low polygon model. But for simple basic objects like this, um, sometimes you can get away with creating the low polygon one first and then creating the high polygon one. So what I'm going to do is just hit shift D to duplicate this cube. You can also add like a brand new cube if you want. It doesn't really matter. And then over here, I'm just going to call this high poly. And then let's just select the low polygon one and hit H to hide it. And then so we're just working on the high detail one. I'm going to go over to the modifiers tab over here and I'm going to add a bevel modifier. And I think I'm going to give it about 12 segments. That should be more than enough detail. You can go higher if you want, but once you hit like a certain threshold, it really doesn't matter. So uh, 12 should be more than sufficient. I'm going to click apply. And there we go. We have our high detail model. Not much to look at. I didn't add any details over here or here or here. Um, I just um, added the details uh, that I required for this particular model. Okay, so hitting Alt H, our low polygon model should be back on screen. And then what you want to do is you want your corners of your high detail model. If you go Z or wireframe mode, you want that to overlap your lower polygon one. So Z out of wireframe mode, hit S to scale. And then we just scale it until it's over. Otherwise, you're going to get like seams and creases. Um, we're going to get them anyway, because we're baking onto such a low polygon model. But um, we're going to get uh, seams and creases where we don't really want any or don't um, where we could avoid them, basically. Okay, so now what we want to do is just go back onto our low polygon model. I just want to like split this area off again and go back into the UV image editor. And then we just want to make sure that this actually has an image to bake to. So we're just going to click new at the bottom. We're going to call this our normal map and click OK. And then we have an image to bake to. So tab back into normal object mode. And then you, what you want to do is select your high polygon model first and then hold shift and select your low polygon one. If it's a little bit difficult to select them through like this, you can also use this menu over here to select them. I'm going to go over to the renders tab and then scroll all the way down to the bottom. And you'll see there's a bake option. It should look something like that, but you can just click it like, and then it should give you like a drop down menu. Um, I already baked a few uh, maps before with another model I was working on. So I'm just going to like switch this from ambient occlusion to normal. And then normal space should be tangent. And then this option should be grayed out, selected to active. Just make sure that you tick it. And then the bias is something that you'll adjust. If you don't see like proper normal maps here, if this, things just look a little bit off, just uh, um, adjust your bias a little bit and then you should actually get more detail. And then the margin is something I want to work on. If you have like multiple UV islands, like one here, one here, one here, and you set your margins a little bit lower, if they're like very tightly packed close to one another, then you set your margins lower so that they don't, because uh, what it does is it actually bleeds over your UV map a little bit. And um, if your 
Mar if your UV maps are very close to one another, it could cause like one or two of them to bleed over one another, and that should cause will cause artifacts, and it will just look terrible. Okay, so all of that said, just click bake, and there we are. You can see our nice corners over here. Now, with us having like a completely flat cube, this normal map isn't going to look like wonderful, but I will show you on how to get more details um, just after we finish exporting this model. So uh, let's just go back into normal mode. We're going to hide our high polygon model, select our low polygon one, click file, export FBX, and I already did a few tests here as well, so I can actually just uh, delete those. Can I delete from here? Yeah, there you go. And I'm just going to call this low and just override that one. And then just make sure selected objects and geometry set to edge detect. And click export. We're going to. Uh, before we jump over to Unreal, what you want to do is you just want to save out your normal map. Now that's one annoying thing about Blender. It doesn't automatically save out your map. So if you like created your normal map, you baked ambient occlusion, you created a texture and everything, and you quit your Blender project, you will lose that if you did not save the maps individually. So always remember to just save. So save image as, normal map over there. I'm just going to delete that one as well because that's something I baked before. Uh, normal map over there, click save as image, jump over to Unreal, and now we're going to import. File import, so the low polygon one and the normal map. Open and click import. There we are, so now we can just drag this into the world. And what we want to do is we want to create a new material for it. But what I'm just going to do is this material metal one that we created in the previous tutorial. I'm just going to right click and duplicate it. And then I'm going to open it. Just minimize it. And then take my normal map and drag it in. Maximize it again. And then feed this into our normal map tab over there and click save. All right, close this out, then take the newly created material and just drag it onto the model. Now, something that I want to mention first, because now you can see I do still have sharp corners, but you can kind of like see where the normal map is baking. But something I want to mention first, Blender uses OpenGL normal maps, which means inside of Unreal, it flips the green channel because Unreal uses DirectX. So it's it's two different methods of displaying normal maps which can cause a little bit of confusion so what you want to do is just go over to your normal map texture and i'll show you what it looks like when we um, flip it so you can see here it is and if you type in your search tab you just type in green you'll see there's an option if we just make that a little bit larger let's do that uh, you see it's called flip green channel and once you click it you'll see that it flips the channel over there. It just like flips the direction of what, the, um, of what the normal map is like drawing out. So sometimes what this does is uh, you'll have a light shine from up above and it will be casting shadows, but not downwards. It will be casting them upwards, which is weird because the light is approaching or shining from upwards. So if you have any problems like that, just make sure that uh, your normal map is uh, green channel is flipped. Okay. So now we do have this model and you can see that from a distance, it looks okay. Uh, actually, you can see the, the smooth corners come out nicely and um, the normal map is projecting properly, but you do still have sharp edges and that's actually just because of the detail of the model. It's not really much that you can do about this. You can like try and get smooth corners as m close as possible. I think this is the closest you'll probably get to having a uh, sharp edges have smooth corners um, using a normal map. Now, from a distance, it will look fine. So you can use this like for basic um, LOD models if you want to um, still make a cube look like it's got rounded corners, but from a distance, this should look perfectly fine. 
But now what I'm quickly going to cover is I want to create another um, cube. I'm just going to create another cube to like smooth out the edges. All right, so with that said, this is just the basics of baking a normal map. What I am going to do in another video is just cover on how can you like smooth out your edges with a normal map so that it looks a little bit better because this actually, uh, this is going to annoy you, but this is more just because of the detail of the model. If you want more detail, you're going to have to add more detail to your model. So what we're going to do in the next video is we're just going to cover on how to bake another normal map using a higher detail, low polygon model. And then you can kind of like gauge the difference between what it will look like uh, if you just add a little bit more detail um, and still bake a normal map onto that. So this is the end of this video. I thank you all very much for watching. All right, so just quickly what I want to do is um, like I said in the beginning of the video, I am going to show you how to just add some additional detail uh, using different textures. All right, so what we're quickly going to do is just create a new material for our cube using um, textures downloaded from textures.com. Now, this is the texture that I will be using, the Scratch Paint PBR material. Uh, there is the link, but I'll put it in the description below. Essentially, it will look something like this. And then we can just like, uh, what we're going to do is just download each one of these uh, textures, which I already did. Um, they are freely available, the lower resolution ones. And then we're going to apply it to our model. Now, one thing to note quickly is that all these um, textures are in a TIFF format, T-I-F-F, -F, and um, you would need to just convert them to PNG because Unreal doesn't want to import to files at all. Well, it keeps crashing with me every single time that I do. So I just converted all of them to PNG files. So I open each one individually and then save them out as a PNG. All right, so that's it. Let's just jump over to Unreal and import. And I'm going to go to where I save these textures. I'm going to ignore the mask because it's not really required. That's for if you want to create something later on, but I'm just going to select all four of these and import. And then I'm going to just right click, create a new material and call this paint scratch. Uh, mistype there. So let's just rename that. There we go. And I'm going to open it and drag all four of these textures just into there. And now we're just going to put them into the appropriate hookup. So all of them already have their names set for them. So um, you can just like check this one as the metallic value. So I'm going to feed that obviously into metallic. This one is roughness. So I'm going to feed that into the roughness. This one, obviously the albedo, so I'm going to feed that into there. And then lastly, we have our normal and feed that into there. And click save. And close it out. And then I'm just going to apply this straight onto our cube. And then you'll see there. We have like a scratch cube there and you can like see the details coming out. Now, what you can do is because these details um, don't look that good, it maybe will be used for something more like a additional detail on a model. So what we can do is we can right click here and type in texture. Uh, I think if you just type in coordinates, there we go, texture coordinate. And I'm going to feed this into every single one. Now, essentially what this will do is just increase the number of times that the, let's do a flat shading. The texture is repeated onto a flat image. So I'm going to do four and four, and then you'll see the scratches will look a lot smaller and it will actually just look a little bit higher detail because uh, you're just projecting them over and over again onto a smaller surface. And there we are. So now they look a little bit better. And, and that's just 
basic way to get like a detailed um, material from uh, textures.com. Uh, they do have other textures available, so there are other metals, other colored metals and things, but the color normally you can ad uh, adjust inside of Unreal Engine itself. So this is just to give you like a little taste of something that you can do for next to little effort. Okay, so if you like what you saw, please leave a like. If you didn't, you can leave a dislike, but please comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you all very much for watching. Bye-bye.